Nissan Rogue. This is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince, brought to you by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. Hey, everybody. Welcome on in to the Bison Football Show along with Kyle Manuel and James Hendricks. I'm Sam Niederman. Glad to have you here with us. NDSU wrapping up its bye week and getting ready for Missouri Valley Football Conference play. Bison will be taking on South Dakota at the Fargo Dome on Saturday. Fellas, great to have you here. Let's get into a little Bison football talk here as we get set for Valley play to open up. NDSU coming into this uh, week, guys, at 3-0, and and so far a strong start in the non-conference season. Kyle, we'll start with you. What are your top takeaways for the Bison? Yeah, strong start to say the least, right? I think uh, given the, the opponents, obviously, uh, you know, you look at Maine, you look at Eastern Washington, maybe two teams that were struggling just a little bit, but still historically pretty solid programs. And then what they did against Central Arkansas, I think, I think that might be a team that we see sneak into the playoffs uh, towards the end of the year with all the talent that they had. I think, again, if I'm giving them a grade, I'm giving them an A. They did everything that they needed to do in these, these first three games. They, they won handily. They got their reserves in in every single game. I know you can nitpick a lot, right? You can go to penalties. You can go to some other little different things, some struggles in the red zone. But overall, did what they needed to do. I was impressed. Yeah, I would agree. I was just super intrigued by the season in general. Uh, you know, new identity. There was a lot of players that went to the NFL last year that have been filtering through this program, and, and we had a lot of inexperience coming in this year. And just to see the humility of this team was one thing that I've been really encouraged by. But also just their new identity, offensively, defensively. They're playing with a different swagger about them that I don't think we've seen necessarily in the last couple of years because it's a new identity. It's a new team. And to come out 3-0, and like Kyle said, get everybody experience in those games too. That's going to prove so, so huge coming in the end of the year. Yeah, no doubt, James. Definitely a fresh feel for this Bison football team in 2023. Let's take a look at some of the season leaders for NDSU on the offensive side of things. Guys, NDSU passing attack has been really good to start, and Cam Miller is number one in the country in completion percentage. 50 completions on 62 attempts so far. Mr. Efficiency, and I think the, the biggest number that you're not going to see up there is interceptions because he hasn't thrown one, and neither has Cole Payton. I mean, going off of just offense in general, they haven't turned the ball over, but Cam Miller, one incompletion against Central Arkansas. He's been efficient. He's gotten the ball out on time. He's done some good things with his legs as well. Yeah, especially coming into the year with the new identity of throwing the ball more than they probably have in the past to be that efficient that's going to give coach roll coach Ants the, the confidence to continue that identity going forward yeah we've seen cole payton who has uh, also done a nice job in the passing game six out of 11 for 88 yards rushing wise bison well, they've gotten production from their quarterbacks cole payton the leading rusher for ndsu through three games yeah to say the least the quarterbacks have been phenomenal i, I think you know through two games they were cole payton and cam miller actually leading the team from eric williams had a nice game um it's been a little bit different this year right a little bit more 11 personnel a little bit more gun than maybe you expected to see but they've just been so good scrambling the design runs have been there and then we've seen what Cole Payton can do, obviously extremely explosive when he gets in the open field. I wouldn't be surprised to see these young running backs get in at the end of the year, too, as, as they continue to progress and get more experience. You know, we have really good running backs at the, at the bottom of that screen there that are really going to be, you know, mainstay running backs in the future for this program. And this year, they're, they're going to be that home run threat. I think they're a little bit more explosive than the, than the other guys. Uh, NDSU, through three games played, 278 rushing yards per game. Certainly a big cornerstone of this Bison offense. Then you look at the receiving game for NDSU. Zach Mathis at the top, just slightly with Eli Green, not far behind. Yeah, Mr. Dependable, Zach Mathis, he's been he's been awesome, right? I, and I think you look at this receiver group as a whole, we talked about it all offseason long. There's so many there, and I think that's one of the reasons we've seen more 11 personnel. We've seen more guys get on the field at the receiver position, and that's why you see, you know, that bottom number that was up there, 17 different guys have caught a ball. Kind of crazy, the, the uh, ability for Cam Miller and Cole Payton to kind of spread the wealth throughout this entire team. Yeah, in my mind, this might be one of the most talented receiver rooms top to bottom that we've had we don't necessarily maybe have that top receiver like Christian Watson maybe was but 
they have dependability in, in Zach Mathis and then Eli Green really coming into his own in the last game and, and look for his role to continue to progress as the season goes on. Yeah, you saw all of that juggling catch right there at U.S. Bank Stadium, a crucial third down pickup for the Bison to get things going early on in the passing game. You look at the run game here, guys. They, they've done a nice job in terms of spreading the wealth. James, you kind of alluded to it. There are some guys who have potential there. Uh, this is an NDSU offense that has a, a line of a scrimmage established, even with some new combinations up front of the offensive line. Yeah, I think the offensive line has been solid. There's been some little things here and there. You're always going to go back and look on film. But like for the most part, I just think, again, it's so tough to defend the quarterback run game, right? There's a reason people like it. You, you change the math. It's plus one. Now you have a quarterback who's not just handing the ball off. And then you, you see some of the things that Cam Miller can do, especially down in the red zone. He just seems to find the end zone every single time. But I think I, I agree with James. I think at some point you're also going to see these running backs pick it up as well as the season goes along. Much more to come here on the Bison Football Show. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the NDSU defense. Code Green, that's coming up next when we come back. Teamwork. Talent. Dedication. Leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gates City Bank. Hi, I'm Dr. Arden Beachy, Medical Director at Swanson Hyperbarics and former Bison quarterback. We all know that injuries are part of the game. We treat concussions, ankle sprains, and everything in between. Our goal is to safely return athletes back to the action and have them performing at their best. Whether it's hyperbaric oxygen therapy, the ozone hocket, or magnetic therapy, our technologies will reduce inflammation quickly and speed up the healing process. Call Swanson Hyperbarics today and find out how we can help you. Exclusively at Halberstadt's West Acres Mall, discover the largest selection of mizzen and main menswear all on sale for 20% off the retail price. Crafted with innovative performance fabrics, mizzen and main offers unparalleled comfort from the office to the golf course to a weekend getaway. Redefine your style while embracing performance with mizzen and main. Elevate your wardrobe today. Visit Halberstadt's West Acres Mall for 20% off our massive mizzen and main inventory. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. The entire off seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Welcome back into the Bison Football Show. Sam Biederman, Kyle Manuel, James Hendricks here with you. And guys, we're talking defense here. Code Green, the Bison. A lot of new faces on that side of the ball and a new defensive coordinator, Jason Petrito. So far, the Bison have answered that challenge. Yeah, especially the first two games. And that was the, the biggest question mark throughout the entire offseason. I think you felt pretty good offensively, especially everything they returned. Now there's some things that they're missing um, on the offensive side of the ball as well. But defensively, the secondary, right? The safety. We've, we've seen such a, a stable secondary for so long, it seems like, in, in NDSU history. You got two new safeties. You got a, a new corner. You got a new play caller in Jason Petrino. What was the defensive line in that front seven going to look like? I thought especially those first two games, giving up only 10 points um, to Eastern Washington, seven to Maine, and it was kind of in garbage time. Um, 
I would say, you know, check all the boxes. I thought the answers or the questions were answered um, through those first two games. Central Arkansas, it was timely, right? It was getting turnovers when they needed to. I know that score kind of got pushed to, to um, you know, a little bit closer at the end. But still, I think overall this defense, the tackling, especially in the first two games, it's been pretty solid. Yeah, I would agree. And I think yeah, what I said at the beginning about the humility of this team, I think this defense shows it. They have the ability to just work hard every single play, scramble to the ball. They they know that they haven't necessarily proven it yet, and that's what you see through their play. They're, they're all swarm tackling. They're having their new players come in and, and be very effective, regardless of if people know their names or not, right? And I think that's what's been really intriguing. And then, obviously, when you got a guy like Cole Wisniewski and some of these guys coming in to make plays every single game, that's been awesome, too. So, very awesome start to this season for the defense. I will say there's a lot of improvement to be had, but that's what exactly what Code Green would want, is not to be the finished product yet, but to eventually you know, get to that at the end of the year. A long way to go, only three games in, but let's take a look at some of the leaders so far on defense for NDSU. Kyle James, you guys talked about him. Cole Wisniewski's been the headliner. Yeah, exactly. I mean, changing positions, going from that outside linebacker to safety. I mean, he made it look easy. And maybe it's easier than we think. Uh, never played the safety position, but for him to come away with three interceptions, could have been a fourth. Um, he's been all over the field. He's been near the top of the leaderboard for tackles, it seems like, every single game. And then you go to Logan Cop. I mean, what can you say about this young man? I mean, he got his start uh, a year ago and was impressive, and now is a full-time starter flying around, showing his athletic ability, showing why this coaching staff was so high on him. He's been impressive as well. Yeah, I think more than anything, too, with this team is, is some of the communication that comes from new players and new faces in different positions. That's what's so hard about where Cole, what Cole had to do, is he had to go not just from a different position to play a different position, but also have a verbal change as well. Every single play in the Fargo Dome, they got to communicate and have everybody on the same page. And the strong safety position is a huge part of that, as well as where Logan Cop is. So for those two to be fairly new, if you will, at the positions they're playing, uh, they're doing it very effectively. And then everybody across the board is just playing really well. Yeah, no doubt about it. Let's take a look at the defensive line for the Bison so far this year, guys. Eli Mostar taking it in, first career touchdown. Gotta love that, representing the big guys. This is a group that's been very productive. Yeah, and I think you look at the sack numbers early on and they weren't um, excited about it, right? Like, felt like they, they kind of left some out there. But I just keep going back to affecting the quarterback. How, how are you affecting the quarterback and his ability um, to get the ball out cleanly, to get balls out on time? And I think they've done that. We talked about Cole Wisniewski. His interceptions are really due to not only the D-line, but just the pressure in general. You see Eli Moser, I'm ex excited to have him back um, and being him rumbling into the end zone, 53. I love to see it. I think they've played better than maybe even the stats show. I think they've done a lot to affect games. And they're part of, like James was talking about, they're a part of the group with the energy, getting flying around, getting to the ball. You see all the green jerseys around the football. That's what you have to do to play good defense. And it always is going to start with the defensive line. Absolutely. And I think that the defensive line is, is obviously what's going to make Code Green go. It always has. You know, usually when, when, when the D-line's doing well, the interceptions come very easily to the secondary, and we love it back there. Um, but I, I think at the end of the day, when you have guys like Eli Mostart making plays like he did last game and in the first game with the field goal block, um, this D-line has been really well, and you just look for them to be the core of this defense moving forward. Yeah, you see all the highlights. This NDSU D-line able to get home in the last game against Central Arkansas, four combined sacks. Dylan Hendricks had a sack and a half. You saw Cole Menz also got home. Jake Cava as well. It's a, a position group that's definitely displayed a lot of depth so far for the Bison. Fellas, let's do the second level. Linebackers in this defense. You guys talked about Logan Kopp. He's been really productive, and it's been a group that's flown around so far. Yeah, and unfortunately they had the energy injury, and we will see what, what comes out with Nick Kubitz. But it's still like if there was a, a place where you're going to have an injury, it'd be there, right, with, with Luke Wirtz, uh, a captain on this team. But, yeah, again, I, I feel like they've, they've done a, a better job. A, a year ago you might have, especially the defensive line, the front seven in general, kind of questioned it a little bit. The running game maybe wasn't quite up to the standard. But I feel like you look at – this team and what they've done so far, including the linebackers, obviously um, led by you know a former linebacker himself and Grant Olson, um, they've flown around. Um, the tackling was better, um, like I said, and you know, it was it was something they maybe need to improve on a little bit. You can go back to the Central Arkansas film, but I thought weeks one and two, the tackling was phenomenal. 
Yeah, and I think they've played with a little more physicality than maybe they did last year. Uh, and I, that obviously comes with how the D-line is playing too. You know, when fits are a little bit closer together and they're not having to cover so much space, the physicality just naturally comes a little bit more. But overall, I think the way that they've swarmed and then, like I said at the beginning too, with the with the verbal communication, there hasn't really been too many busts with this defense. So with the new D coordinator, players in different positions, the communication really stems from the Mike linebacker and goes beyond. And, and there hasn't been a lot of miscommunication or a lot of mental busts and that's that's what is a lot of credit to this linebacking core along with their physicality. Secondary for NDSU, a lot of new faces as we referenced, a lot of players that had to step up and so far we've seen them in those roles. Kyle, what stood out there? Well, I'll let this guy talk more about it because I know he knows <laughs> how to play the position, but yeah, look, I mean, when I think of secondary, obviously the Russian cover, I think of that as a former defensive lineman. they got to go hand in hand, and I think they have for the most part. Um, you think of a guy like Cole Wisniewski that we mentioned off the top, changing positions. The other thing I, th I think about with the secondary is, is James just mentioned bus in big plays, explosive plays. You just haven't seen them. I, I just think they've been stout in the back and they've given the defensive line they've given these pressures times to get home and that's the other thing they're blitzing a lot and you know this like you're going to find yourself in more one-on-one -on -one positions when you're blitzing a lot and they've done a phenomenal job at least from what i've seen so far yeah i think at corner they've played really well they've been asked to do a lot more in the man coverage space and the and the 50 50 balls if you will um Petrino likes to blitz. He likes mm -hmm. to pressure, and they play a lot of man coverage behind that, and you've seen the corners really step up big time. And obviously, we've talked about Cole enough, um, but obviously a free safety too, getting a lot of production there from Sam, and, and he's had the ability to have, I believe, 12 tackles on the year, uh, some pass deflections as well. And what you're going to continue to see with the, these DBs is when they get the ability to continue to get their hands on the ball, you're going to probably see more takeaways. And that's what this defense really wants, is if the D-line can pressure, the linebackers can communicate and play, play with a lot of physicality. The DBs need to clean that up with takeaways, and, and that's what you hope to see with, as the confidence grows with them. Seven takeaways so far this season for the Bison defense, plus seven in the turnover department. More to come here on the Bison Football Show with Kyle and James. When we come back, we've got a conversation with offensive lineman Jake Rock. That's coming up next. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gates City Bank. I want to do everything to the best of my ability. Travel! My bad. On the court and on the road. If I make a mistake, I want to know. Lane violation! And when I'm at my best, I want to see the rewards. That's why I signed up for the Drive for Less program with NODAC Insurance. I drive safely so I could save up to 30% on my insurance premium. Driving safe and saving money? That's a good call. Download the NODAC Insurance app today. The stories we share are more than just words. They are unseen conversations and interviews. They are hours of research and dedication. They are the stories that connect us with the truth and with each other. We are honored to share your stories. Welcome back on in to the Bison Football Show. Well, this summer, the NDSU offensive line had to reconfigure with the departures of Cody Malk and Nash Jensen to the NFL, but the Bison still have plenty of depth at that position, including senior Jake Rock. And this week's Olaf Anderson feature, WDAY's Dom Izzo sat down with Jake. It seems like forever ago, your freshman year, you get thrown in to start mm -hmm. in a playoff game. How much did that, just that 
experience has it paid off now a couple years down the road like okay there's not more pressure intense situation that's starting yeah. as a freshman in a postseason game yeah you're totally right uh i think uh back to that spring covid season it definitely helped my confidence a lot um i think that my confidence has continued to grow with each season that i've been here you know having to come in for guys you know if they go down sometimes and you know not always ready or not always knowing when that time's going to be, but just having to stay ready. Um, I think it's definitely helped with my confidence and being ready to go whenever. It happened the first game. I know Jake went probably getting cramps and you go in. Is it just now second nature on that? Like, okay, this is this is my job. Yeah, it is. Uh, Got to be ready. It's, you know, here it's a next man up mentality. Um, and, you know, we're a program that is meant to build guys up and it's like I said, it's next man up, and whenever that time is, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't matter how far along you are, you just got to be ready to take that step. You learned that the hard way, I guess, right? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Uh, how many different positions have you worked at, and where do you feel like you're most comfortable? Uh, mainly, I've worked tackle. Um, I've played, I've stepped in and played guard in practice, but uh, Coach Larson sees me more as a tackle. Um, I believe freshman year, I probably played more left tackle, and then. Uh, in that first start, I played right, and I've been playing primarily right tackle now, but I feel like I have a good grasp on both tackles, so if I need to go in at either spot, I feel like I could perform well. Have you made your mind up about what you want to do next year, is that, or is that something you're going to decide after the season's done? Yeah, you know, I, I keep talking with my parents, keep talking, you know, that that's probably who I've been talking with most. Um, obviously, it's nice to have another year to come back. Um, who, wouldn't want to, who wouldn't want to come back to this program, right? I mean, it's done so many amazing things for me. Um, you know, I, I haven't 100% committed on what I want to do yet, and um, I think that decision is probably coming soon, but um, it's something that I will obviously talk with coaches about and my parents and do what's best for me. Rock is one of four offensive linemen that can either use their extra year eligibility or move on after this season. All right, gentlemen, it is time for our Great Clips, Great Question, brought to you by Great Clips. And this one is for you, Sam. This one comes from Mike in West Fargo. He wants to know, Sam, what's your story? <laughs> that is a deep question right there. There's a lot of ways you could take it. But first year here with the Bison football program, super blessed and excited to be here. Originally from Indianapolis, Indiana, so from the Midwest. Grew up a big Colts fan, grew up a Reds fan. Coming out from New York, that's where I moved from. I was at Stony Brook University for the last two and a half years and uh, been fortunate to enjoy Fargo the last couple of months. How about you guys? What have you been up to uh, since playing outside of football? Well, uh, as a lot of people know, doing the TV side of things for WDAY, calling the games color uh, analyst. And uh, I'm actually back in school, believe it or not, back in school going for my MBA, so staying busy that way. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Um, I live in West Fargo now. And on the weekdays, I run a financial firm in town. And then on the weekends, I'm with you on the radio. Love it, James. Well, that's what we're all up to. I hope you enjoyed it. That is our great clips, great question. And thanks to Mike and Wes Fargo for the, uh, the good one right there. More to come here on the Bison Football Show. When we come back, we'll take a look at this week's matchup for the Bison against South Dakota. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. Entire off seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. 
WDAY Plus brings you local high school sports on WDAY Extra and streaming on Inforum.com. Cass Clay and Sanford Health present area high school football. The Fargo South Bruins face the Davies Eagles in the WDAY Extra Game of the Week, Friday at 7 p.m. And watch the Perim Yellow Jackets play the Fergus Falls Otters Friday at 6 p.m. Streaming online on Inforum.com. Brought to you by Cass Clay and Sanford Health. Orthopedic pain is limiting. It's unpredictable. And when it disrupts the way you move, it disrupts the way you live. Life is better when you feel empowered to move the way you want, when you want. And that's where our experts come in. We're your guides to orthopedic and sports medicine treatment options that can manage your pain, rehab your injuries, and restore your confidence. Take back the freedom to move. Explore your orthopedic options at Sanford Health. To learn more, please visit EIFcares.org. Welcome back into the Bison Football Show. Sam Biederman, Kyle Emanuel, James Hendricks here with you. Putting a bow on things as NDSU wraps up this bye week and gets ready for the beginning of Missouri Valley Football Conference play. Gentlemen, it's always a challenge when you're playing in the Valley. Absolutely. I think a lot of times, depending on the team, you can kind of throw stats out the window, stats, records, everything out the window, especially when teams just know each other. And then you remember, I think Valley, I think physical, right? I think that's what everyone across the country does. You think offensive line, you think defensive line, you think week in and week out. It's going to be a battle because these teams know each other well, and especially South Dakota. We saw what they did a year ago. It's always a grind in the Valley. It is, but as a player, you almost like it because then you get into a routine of eight straight weeks. They know there's not a bye week coming up. You can get into a routine and physical play. Missouri Valley is the, the premier conference in, in the FCS, and, and, but you have eight weeks straight of it. So it's a grind, but it's also a routine, and, and I think these players are going to obviously attack it this week and, and hopefully you know have a really successful couple months there. Yeah, certainly a long stretch coming up for NDSU and as you saw there on the graphic, the opponent this Saturday, South Dakota. Yeah, South Dakota comes in 2-1. and one. Look, they played tough against Missouri, right? A team that beat Kansas State, so you got to give them credit there. It's it's kind of hard to gauge a team after after three weeks when two of them are opponents they probably should beat, and then you go up against an SEC opponent, but I just go back to a year ago. I mean, they were leading at halftime. They gave NDSU everything they wanted there. Aiden Bowman, um, Travis Tice. I mean, there's going to be athletes on this team and they're always going to uh, pose a threat I mean just think you know, think back just not that long ago they came into the Fargo Dome and won a game it's a game you always got to be ready for James yeah USD is traditionally really well coached and they traditionally have really really good athletes and that always poses a test no matter what the week is no matter what their offense is or what their defensive scheme is you know they're going to show up ready to play and they're going to have athletes that are going to be able to do it so it's a really good week really tough test right away and, and I know our guys are going to be looking forward to it yeah, it's going to be a fun one, and it is homecoming at the Fargo Dome. 1 p.m. kickoff on Saturday as NDSU opens up Valley Play. Looks to move to 4-0 on the season. Well, fellas, this was a great time. Enjoyed it, appreciate it, and appreciate you guys joining us here on the Bison Football Show. We'll be back with you next week with Coach Entz after the USD game. For James Hendricks, Kyle Manuel, and the rest of our WDAY crew, I'm Sam Biederman. We'll catch you next time. Today's Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince has been presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. Imagine yourself on a Caribbean beach with your feet in the sand or enjoying a delicious pizza in Italy. Make it happen in September at Shooting Star Casino with our Play to Paradise giveaway. Start earning entries now. Then on Sunday, September 24th, we'll draw for the grand prize, a choose-your-own-vacation package and $10,000 cash. The only question is, where are you headed?